Hey everyone, so this is going to be number two for the brick generator. Um, I'm not going to go over too much of the basic details. I did update the uh, graph here, so there's new options uh, and things got changed around just a little bit. Um, so I'm going to show you some of the new options and what you can do with it to get basically a completely different look than uh, what you see here. So these are much more separated out now. Uh, the default brick is uh, separated by one, two, and three default brick for more global things and um, this right here if we unclick use random layout then uh, we'll be using the uh, non-random brick options which allow for a couple more mask options and uh, position changes. I'm going to turn off the brick dirt because I know I'm not going to need it so, uh, for this one. Now I'm going to uh, change the, uh, the look of the bricks. I'm going to bring the mask random for brick uh, 2 and 3 down to 0 and then I'm going to change their hue and saturation a little bit as well. So basically what we're seeing here is brick 3 only because we haven't masked any of its values. Um, so I'm going to go into non-random brick here and I'm going to add a uh, horizontal mask and then now we see brick 2 and 3 and then under brick 2 I'm going to add a vertical mask. Alright so now we've got the bricks in a, there's definitely a pattern going on here. Uh, so I'm going to go a bit further, and then we're going to change the pattern input, input to square. Right now these have a little curved edges, that's the pattern input that we have, um, where it's a slightly uh, beveled edge. There we go, and square is completely square. Um, so we are still getting this little edge here, and that's from the blur on the color ID. Uh, the color ID creates basically a map that uses um, I don't think you can see it down here unless you export export all options, but it has a, an RGB value uh, where white would be the grout, then red, green, and blue for brick 1, 2, and 3, and we blur that uh, to, if you want to give a nice edge, but in this case I want a smooth surface that isn't blurred. There we go. Alright, great. So that's uh, a much better pattern I like. Alright, now I'm going to go over to my copy of this to that, to the brick generator, and let me look at the marble. So I'm going to change this to be a marble floor. Um, looking at my marbles I've added here, uh, I really like marble 14, 10, and 11. And maybe we'll do, an, yeah, 2 and 3 sound good, and uh, 10. Okay, so we'll go ahead and copy this to that. And. Uh, Oh, I didn't add the source yet, so or the target rather, so let me add the brick generator as the target. So we've got all these options here. I don't want the environmental options. So I'll rebuild the list. Alright, and I'm going to get rid of all of these. Only keep those ones. Alright, so I'll delete the grout for now. Uh, we do want the marble, and we're going to take material 2. 3 and 10. We'll take that in that configuration. We'll just copy those over. Alright, now if we go back to our floor here, you can see that we've got the marble, but the problem is uh, we've got all this waviness going on and we have the uh, smoothness issue going on because we've got our normal map. So back in our generator here, I'm going to go into the brick adjust section here. I'm going to remove all the warping, so I'm just going to bring all of these down to zero. And now I'm going to go up to my uh, custom, my brick one, two, and three up here at the top, and I'm going to uh, uncheck use the default normal and height for each of these. All right, now with that set, uh, I can do a little bit more to smooth this out, and that is simply by masking out the ambient occlusion and the normal map for each of the bricks. All right, so we have a more marble-like floor. Alright, so I brought it back to the uh, pattern input. Alright, and I also brought the height map, map back, so if you wanted to play with that, uh, you could bring the height map back now that there's some actual definition to work with. Um, and let me change the color of the grout. And I want to change the uh, color of the tiles as well. Alright, and I 
want to add a bit of a metal um, to this, so I think I'm going to try adding metal to brick three. So I'm going to go back to my. Uh, well, first let me look at the metals. Uh, that should be important to know which metal I like. Um, of course, I can adjust these once I get it in the uh, scene as well. I'm going to go with material six there. So I'm going to go my copy of this to that. Go to brick generator. Uh, for brick three, go to metal. Choose material six. I'm going to copy just that one over. All right, so now we have a, a metal um, stone to go with the marble ones. I kind of like this look. I think this would be good for uh, maybe a palace uh, floor or a more um, floor that's just more ele elegant uh, as opposed to the sandy stone we had in the other set. So I'm going to save this real quick because I do like this look. I'm going to go to my uh, window and export material. Bring this down here. I didn't have this selected, so I just need to drag that down. Uh, we're going to call this. Uh, we're still going to call it in the brick generator uh, group. We're going to remove the emissive, keep the height. Uh, we will set the normal map mode. No, we will not set the normal map mode because I'm going to use this in my other uh, workflow. And merge with the group name. We're going to override this name. We're going to call this uh, marble floor, and we'll export that. All right, now. Um, we can do more to this, and I want to. I want to add some environmental damage here. Uh, so I'm going to change my mask down to zero so it uh, damage affects all objects. Let's so turn that on. I'm going to bring the lightness up a bunch. That helps me see where the damage is. And if it doesn't look right, I can always bring that down. But I like to be able to see. So let me bring up first the notch level. It definitely uh, has an effect on the edges there. Uh, and about the wear level. Alright, so let me bring that lightness back down. This has a huge effect on, uh, especially on the metal. Alright, so right now we've got the saturation out just a little bit. Um, the roughness is down. I'm going to bring the roughness up. There we go. Uh, and I, I like that look. It's just a simple damage, but it brings down the color of this metal parts a bunch. Uh, and I'm going to add some uh, surface dirt as well. And to help me see this, I'm going to make this an obnoxious color as well. I'll go with bright pink. So obviously that's a lot of dirt, so I'm going to bring down the amount. Bring down the grunge as well. All right, so mostly this is affecting inside. There's a little bit of dirt uh, on the top right there, here, here. So you can definitely see some. So I'm going to bring up, uh, uh, bring down the contrast. Oh, there you go. So maybe uh, okay, so that's good. I'm going to leave the amount the way it is. Uh, I'm going to bring the roughness up so that it's not so shiny. And now that it's uh, more of a dry dirt, I'm going to change the color back to my favorite dirt color. There we go. So now it's a much more dirty look. And one more thing. I'm going to click this masked metal part. It's going to be a somewhat subtle difference, but it will mask the metallic uh, map here so that the dirt itself is non-metal. And that plays out in the reflections a little bit. Um, it's just a subtle look, but it's also, to me at least, it's an important look. All right, so this is a, a, an also a good look. So I'm going to go back to my export and just click Export Material once more. Uh, since there's already a marble floor, it's just going to be called Marble Floor 2. I don't have to worry about doing any of that. All right, and right before um, I end this, I want to show another option. Right, so this is what it looks like with the pyramid pattern. Um, it's harder to see when it's down low the actual effects, but from up above you can clearly see that these are now in a pyramid shape. And since I've masked out the uh, AO and normal from the uh, from the uh, marble, we don't see that shape on the marble. We only see it on the on the uh, the metal parts, which don't have those masked out. And if you bring the height map, you can really see the uh, see the effect there you go about this room so there are some more options uh, to, to play with uh, now now that you can choose different patterns and um, I hope you can see that this one material generator can produce I mean with the combined uh, base materials literally millions of different looks each one uh, completely different from the next and uh, hopefully you have fun playing with it and making a look that works for your level and for your game